scared of what I don't know When I'm afraid, thinking I'm alone You remind me that I still belong God, you help me to grow When I am scared, I don't feel strong When I'm afraid, something is wrong You remind me that you're in control Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached our last two contestants in this year's World Spelling Bee. They will each be given a word. If one contestant misspells their word and the other contestant spells their word correctly, the one who spelled their word correctly will be the champion. We will start with Brandon. <coughs> Brandon, your word is no. Oh, you are going down, man. There is no way you get this one. Can you please use it in a sentence? A man was asked if Stephen will win the spelling bee. The answer was no. Whatever. You're going to lose. Are there definitions for the word? A word meaning the opposite of yes, often given as a response to any question Stephen asks. Is there an alternate pronunciation of the word? No. <laughs> I got this in the bag, man. You're gonna lose. No. 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 N. O. No. That is correct. <sighs> yes. Nicely done. Stephen. Yes. 
Your word is sesquipedalophobia. What? It's so easy. What? M- may I have Brandon's word, please? No. No, like no, or no, like yes, I can have that word. No. So it's the sesqua one then. Sesqua. Pedala. Phobia. S E S Q U A P E D A L O P H O B I A. Sesqua pedalophobia. No. <laughs> back, I realized it wasn't a bear at all. What was it? It was my Aunt Mildred coughing. What? Oh, hey everyone, I'm Brandon. And I'm Steven, and you're watching The The So-and-So Show. Show. Steven, how would you describe The So-and-So Show? Oh, uh, fun, Mm -hmm. adventurous, odd. Odd? Yeah, well, sometimes. Hmm. Well, I often like to describe The So-and-So Show as educational. (laughs) Really? Uh Uh-huh. Really? Yes, really. As much fun as we have on the show, I also believe we offer our viewers a chance to learn new things and absorb a deep intellectual understanding of the power that comes with a hunger for educational pursuits, proving that knowledge can help unlock any door and empower the next generation to reflect the character of God to a world that desperately needs it. Really? Yes! I know, I'm just playing with you. I completely agree with you. Gaining knowledge can help you make wise choices and accomplish so many other important things in life. Thank you. Yeah, like help you win a goofy prize in a new game show I'm calling... Math Quiz! Math Quiz? Yes! The game sweeping classrooms across the globe! We're gonna take a math quiz. Brandon, I know math is one of those subjects that many people dislike. Me being one of those people. But it can be really helpful in life. You use it all the time when you're building things, cooking, flying, even drawing. It's true. So I thought it would be really fun for us to test out our mathematical abilities with a little math quiz. Here you go. Here's a pencil. Always use a pencil when doing math, kids. That way you can go ahead and erase if you make a mistake and try again. Good tip. All right, get ready and go. Hey, Steven. Uh, shh. Are we really just gonna do math? Yes, it's important. You don't think it would be boring? Boring, this is the game show. Math quiz, very exciting. Okay, put your name on the top there. Okay. Uh, Steven, shh, can't talk during quizzes, Brandon. (laughs) I can't talk, then. Brandon. Brandon. Over here. Ah, ah, no outburst during quizzes. Shh. Who are you? I'm here to remind you of the right thing to do. Oh, like an angel? Let's not get carried away. Okay. It looks okay. like Stephen accidentally gave you the math quiz with all the answers on it. You're not thinking about cheating, are you? I mean... Hey! Uh, Shh! Keep it down! You don't want Stephen to get wise, right? Quick, act like you're doing math. You'll never know you already got the answers. I don't know. Yes, you do. Hey, stay out of this goody two-shoes. That's not very nice. Hey, Brandon, look at Stephen. All smug. Knowing all his maths and stuff. You should beat him just to put him in his place. Yeah. Who cares if you have to cheat a little? You know why you shouldn't do that, Brandon. I do? You do. You know better. You know that cheating is lying and that lying is not good. He has a point. (sighs) No, he doesn't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. Don't. Do. Don't. Times a hundred. Do. Times infinity. Ah! Okay. Why am I so bad at math? Guys, thank you. I think I can handle it from here. (laughs) I knew he would listen to me. We'll see. Steven, I'm sorry. Can you please stop mathing for a second? I have something to say. Hey, are you okay? Yes, I uh, think you accidentally gave me the answer key. What? 
<gasps> yeah, you gave me the quiz that already has all the answers on it. Wow, Brandon. That was, <laughs> well, that was really, really, really kind of you. <laughs> because, well, you know how much I, I love math. I love, I love math. And you totally could have cheated, but you didn't. And that was just, what? <laughs> It's okay, man. You don't. It's, it's okay. okay. I kind of wish I cheated now. You don't mean that. You're a no, good man. I don't mean that. I was just joking. Okay. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, fellas, what's up? Nothing much. You okay, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, Brandon didn't cheat on math. <laughs> oh. Well, that's good. Yeah. Hey, you got a story for us today? Hey, you know it. And we're going to tell it with Shadow Puppet Theater. Awesome. Take it away, my friend. You're my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> no more hugs. No more hugs. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, that's, yeah. So today we're gonna talk about an amazing moment in the life of Jesus. Jesus was about 30 years old and it had just been revealed to a crowd of people that he was the son of God, the Messiah who was sent to rescue the world. But instead of going on this whirlwind, crazy promotional tour around the globe, God's spirit led Jesus into the desert by himself. When Jesus went out to this desert, he prayed and spent a lot of time with God. And he did this for 40 days. Yeah, not four, four, zero, 40 days. And what's more amazing is Jesus fasted the entire time. That means he did not eat anything for 40 days, but even though he was incredibly hungry, Jesus kept focusing on the one thing that meant more to him than all the food in the world, his relationship with God, which is a good thing. Because even though he went out into the desert all alone, there was someone else who showed up. And this someone was not there to help Jesus. This someone was the devil. <laughs> And at the end of Jesus' 40-day fast, the devil was there to tempt Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my. You look very, very hungry. Say, if you really are the Son of God, why don't you tell this stone to become bread? After 40 days, I can only imagine how tempting it would be to do this. I mean, Jesus was God's Son. He could do anything he wanted. But Jesus, remembering something that he had learned from Scripture, well, he said, It is written, Man must not live only on bread. He must also live on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Whoa! That was impressive. Not only did Jesus resist the devil's temptations, but he did it using the knowledge of Scripture and what it says about trusting God. Well, the devil wasn't done with Jesus. This time, he took Jesus to a high place, a place where Jesus could see all the kingdoms of the world. And as they looked down on all creation, the devil said, Jesus, look, I will give you all their authority and glory. It was given to me and I can give it to anyone I want to. Worship me, and it'll all be yours. Once again, Jesus thought about what he knew was true. He said, It is written, Worship the Lord your God. He is the only one you should serve. Jesus wasn't budging from what he knew was true and who he knew God was. But the devil tried one more time. And he took Jesus to the highest point of the temple in Jerusalem. 
Jesus, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. After all, it is written, the Lord shall command his angels to take care of you. They will lift you with their hands. Then you won't trip over a stone. The devil is tricky, I'll give him that. But this time, this time, the devil used scripture himself to tempt Jesus. But ultimately, Jesus knew it was better to trust in God. Why? Well, it was something based off what he learned. Scripture says, do not test the Lord your God. The devil was beaten, and so he left Jesus alone. Jesus, still tired and weary, was immediately tended to by angels from God who provided everything he needed. The end. So what'd you guys think? Whoa, that was incredible. Even when Jesus was tired and weak. And incredibly hungry. Totally, he used what he knew was true to keep from giving in to all those temptations. That's right. Jesus spent his whole life growing up around God's word and listening to teachers think about and talk about who God is. And all that knowledge came in handy when he needed it most. That's why it's so important for us to learn and read and, and think about all the things in the Bible. Yep. Hey, thanks for the story. Hey, anytime. Later. Wow. Kind of reminds me of our math quiz. That story reminded you of a math quiz? No. Oh. Just reminded me of your honesty. Oh. <laughs> and your friendship. A reflection about everything, you know, about God. <laughs> Please reveal the question. What helps you make the wise choice? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, uh, what are things you can learn from that help you make the wisest choices? I know for one, it can be the past. Oh yeah, we can learn from our mistakes and the choices that other people have made in the past. Yeah, and like, remember the time that like, I don't know, you decided not to cheat? All right, settle down. Okay. Any other ideas? I mean, you can always learn from stuff you read. Ah, uh, another excellent example. What do you think? What helps you make wise choices? Until next time, I'm Steven, and this is my good friend, Brandon. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you next time on the So-and-So Show. Bye. <laughs> Are you crying too? I think there's nothing about what you're doing. Really? Remember you're not mocking me? Yeah. Oh! Two, 256. 45. Right, uh, that was lucky, lucky guess. 84,000. <laughs> no. <laughs> 160.98. <laughs> ah. All right, all right. <laughs> I don't know. Bananas? Mm.